Hi friends, welcome to Die.3D Tech YouTube channel. In this today's video, we'll see how to build this SpeedyB 3.5 CineWoop drone. So first, let's see what are the components we are using in this build. So here you can see I'm using this SpeedyB 3.5 inch uh, frame. Okay, so in this two versions will be there. So I'm using the pro version. So pro version will come with a extra accessories, something like a VTX holder. Okay, so some additional uh, uh, USB extensions and all. Okay, so SpeedyB frame and I'm using this Datura brushless motors. Okay, so I'm using this Datura brushless motors see here okay 2650 so it will work with a 4s2 6s and flight controller i am using speedyb f405 v4 board so this is the one it will come with a 55 uh, amps 4 in 1 esc and this is speedyb f405 v4 board okay like this so this is the flight controller and VTX I'm using this iFlight 1.6 milliwatts, 1.6 watt uh, flight controller. This will come with accessories and for this VTX I'm using this antenna. Okay. This is the antenna I'm using and uh, camera I'm using this Foxair Starlight half inch uh, sensor camera so it's very good camera so it's very good even for the low light okay so Foxair toothless 2 half inch sensor uh, FPV camera I'm using and propellers i'm using this propellers i'm using okay which is suitable with these motors and uh, remote i'm using a radio master pocket okay uh, this is the elrs version and for this i'm using elrs receiver i'm using this elrs receiver okay and for this build i'm also using gps uh, so i'm using a gps foxer gps with compass for this build i'm using this foxer m10 gps m10 q180 gps with inbuilt compass okay so that we can use the features like uh, position hold and return to home features using aina okay yes that's it so these are the components i am using for this build so first what i will do is uh, i will take the motors and uh, receiver and camera everything i will solder to these two thing so i will solder to motors i will solder to this 4 in 1 esc and i'll show you how i connect uh, how i solder and i will connect radio receiver and vtx and gps everything i will connect to this board and i'll show you the connections how i connect it okay so i'll do that then i'll be back okay so after that i will explain how i connected each and every component to this board okay i will do that then i'll be back so here soldering is done and you can see here the motor size holder on this uh, four in one esc you can see here uh, this is the motor number one two three four like this and here xt60 connection is connected here positive to positive negative negative and you can see there is a capacitor capacitor also positive to positive negative to negative connected okay and this is the flight controller mm, on this flight controller where and all i connected i, I will show you detailed way in a uh, diagram that you can see on the screen so yeah this is the elrs receiver is connected here and uh, this is the camera camera is connected here 
and vtx is connected here everything how i connected it is i'll show you on screen you can follow the diagram and this is the gps gps is connected here okay how it is connected you can follow the diagram okay so yeah now everything is connected okay now we need to place this thing on the frame okay so first what we need to do is uh, we need to place these motors on this frame we need to place it on this frame so here how it will come now it won't come on the top it will come bottom and the motors will be facing down like this okay so this is the top portion of the plate okay so motors will be coming like this okay like this like this yeah okay like this it will come after that we will place it here and this flight controller and this esc will be connected with this wire uh, that plug will be here so like this you need to connect then you can place this below or above depend on how you are planning you can place it like this make sure uh, you can see there will be a arrow mark so make sure it is facing of front so this is the front so make sure it is facing like this so whether you place it on top or bottom like this so this whole setup will come below this okay and there will be a screws that will go through these two boards and there will be a nut so you can tighten that so i'll do that i'll show you now okay first i will place this motors here then i'll be back and i'll show you how i'll assemble okay so uh, now these motors are installed on this frame so yeah like this this is how it will be so motors will be facing down okay so this is the esc and see so this is our flight controller so you can see that there is an arrow mark here which is point uh, yeah here you can see there is an arrow mark which is pointing this so what we need to do we need to place it like this okay so below so pointing this direction because this is the front direction right so we need to place it below like this then all this wire should come from this place okay so and uh, here this receiver related wire gps camera related wires will be coming so yeah like this so what you can do this is xt60 connector you can get it like this and this diode I mean, capacitor you can this below like this then place your flight controller in between like this on top of this okay so i'll do that then i'll be back okay so now <coughs> this frame is ready you can see here so yeah now just we need to place this one like this okay so here you will get this camera mount so that we need to prepare now okay so first prepare that and then we'll place it on top so you need to prepare the this thing so it it will be something like this so you see this shining part this will be outside like this like this okay in between there will be a spacer coming here like this you see this hole right so here spacer will come and you see this yellow color one so it will be going here in this notch like this in this screws will come to place the camera okay so this side also same okay.
okay spacer will come screws then in the center camera will come so i'll do that then i'll be back okay so now everything is uh, fixed you can see here everything is placed inside this frame and uh, okay <coughs> so everything is uh, assembled here the video transmitter antenna and uh, these are the antennas from the receiver and this is the gps and this is where the battery comes this is where you can place your action camera and this is the fpv camera okay so and even i place the propellers as per the motor layout and direction but we need to check it uh, in the software i know software so that we'll see now okay now everything is ready we need to configure this in inav because i need some features like gps related altitude hold and position hold and all so that i will configure in inav software so let's go to the inav software and configuration and you can check it once everything is done just power it up and i strongly recommend use the smoke stopper so that will let you know if any shot is there inside um, this setup okay so now i'll connect and show you and make sure everything is fine okay so i strongly suggest use the smoke stopper so if any uh, shot is there then it will stop sending the power so it will save your electronics okay 